Happy Wednesday. How we doing? Yeah? Good? I love it. I love it. All righty. So, as our folks are gathering, coffee in hand, Danish or bagel being consumed, all those lovely things, let's start with Awesome photos. All right, this uh, was sent in by Sheldon Goodridge in Ottawa, Canada. I saw this sign at my local YMCA and I wanted to share it with the rest of the world. Let's see, there's a sign that says Toddler Kids Club and then Genital Yoga Stretch. <laughs> the old Genital Yoga Stretch. I think they meant gentle, but just to be safe, don't sign up for that class. <laughs> Always good to start out by stretching your genitals, and then you can <laughs> do your yoga. Rahim, is that right? Rahim Ali in uh, London, England. My son made me stop my car to take this picture. Secret nuclear bunker. <laughs> Um, you guys, I don't think it's a secret anymore. <laughs> There's a sign further down the road. Look at this one. Here's a bunker. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Uh, Janice McComber? Macomber? Macomber? Macomber, in uh, <laughs> Granite Falls, Washington. One of my students took this photo while shopping in the supermarket. Baby needs beers and wines. <laughs> that makes sense. Too many beers and wines lead to baby needs. <laughs> Jim Plotner in Marion, Ohio. I saw this sign and I thought, this belongs on Ellen for sure. Herpes pizza. <laughs> You may not want what she's having, but you're going to get it anyway. All righty. Yuck. That's what I have to say about that. Just yuck. <clears throat> Karen, rescue us from that nasty pizza place. I know. That's so difficult to follow. Um, I just wanted to, you know, of course, everybody knows that rates are really low. But when, you're look, when you are working with your sellers and you're helping them choose the, uh, the best offer, I want you to remember that rates are at under 3% for 95% financing and for 80% financing. For, so for those people out there who wanna save their money and maybe do other things with it, like renovating or saving it for the, their kids or the future or future trips or anything else, understand that more financing is very cheap right now so it might be a good alternative so don't look at those offers as those borrowers or buyers not being as strong as the ones that are putting 20 percent down or 25 percent down rates are still low and pe people are taking advantage of the low rates and the low payments so it's a good deal Beautiful. Thank you so much for that. And if anybody has any other questions, make sure you get a hold of Karen today. Yes, please. <clears throat> so a couple of quick announcements before we get started, uh, get our day started. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm, I'm so excited to report back that after our, uh, our 11 o'clock PPP uh, conversation on Monday in the last 48 hours, I've got numerous texts saying, hey, I'm in, my loan's approved. Hey, I'm in, my PPP's approved. Hey, I'm done. So, so great job to everybody who tuned on in at 11 and then took some action on that to, uh, to access some of those funds. It's, uh, it's great to see those texts coming through. If anyone is still stuck, please reach out and let me know. I'm happy to, uh, to assist you not being stuck uh, to make sure that you get yours, uh, yours in. And I'm gonna tell you that one of the things I've learned over the last 48 hours is that uh, many banks, even if they are SBA connected, they're just not taking those applications any longer. Right? For, for many of them, that ship has kind of sailed. And so you may just need to go to cabbage.com, that's cabbage with a K, 
right, and apply. It's simple, it's quick, it's relatively painless. Uh, that's where most of our folks have uh, have applied in the last 48 hours. So uh, call your bank, see what they're see what's going on. Uh, check in with small credit unions; um, they may still have access. Uh, but for the most part, you may need to just jump on with uh, with Cabbage. So great job to those of you who did that. And again, reach out if you need some help on that. A couple of things for today at one o'clock, we do have uh, a session called "Get Them to Call You." Uh, is Debbie Orr on the call? Yes, she is. Debbie, do you want to just jump on and? Give a quick, um, a quick so, preview for that. So this, I, I just sent you all out an email as well. This is like so much fun, and and that's what we're looking for. Is if you hate lead generation, come hear this and see what we need to do to get people to call us, and that includes our sphere and other prospects and the general public. Um, and it's just, it's just very cool. We can have a good amount of fun and people are making a lot of money doing this. It's a great way to build your database. Beautiful, excellent commercial. Uh, that's got me intrigued. I will be there at one o'clock. I encourage most of you to be there at one as well. <clears throat> other things happening today, three o'clock, we do have uh, session number eight of nine for Ben Kinney's Wealth Series. For those of you who have been with us uh, from the beginning, uh, you should be pretty close to being wealthy by now. So uh, we're almost done. Friday is it. Friday is wealth. So uh, ho hopefully you're, you're, you're seeing things skyrocket with all the things that you're doing. Um, not as many people laughed about that as I thought I would, I would get, but uh, well, I'll try it again. I'll, I'll practice some more and give it to you again at 4.30 and maybe it'll, maybe it'll land a little bit better. Uh, next, uh, so that the Ben sessions ends on uh, Friday. We do start Monday. Uh, with a new round of Ignite. Um, Ignite is going to be retooled yet again um, for, the, for Zoom and for uh, the current environment, which is uh, we're gonna bring some more uh, command related things into uh, this, this version of Ignite to make sure that you're doing the things that, that you need to be doing and doing them with the assistance of a, uh, of a technology platform to help you do them faster and more efficiently. Uh, the other thing we're going to make sure that we work into this Ignite is, um, is rehearsals. Uh, and we're, we are finally going to use our breakout rooms on Zoom. So uh, if, you're, if you're interested in practicing buyer consults, practicing lead generation scripts, practicing listing consults, practicing the SPA and, and having pricing conversations, uh, we're, going to, we're going to move things around to get to all of that a whole lot faster and then, uh, and then spend each of, our, each of our sessions together in breakout rooms doing that rehearsal. Uh, so do watch for that. The other thing I'm really excited to let you know about is that we have, um, uh, we're taking a, a, a departure for the second half of July and we're redoing the calendar, which means we're going to have far fewer formal classes during the day, the 11s and the 1s. Uh, there will still be some, uh, but far fewer for at least the last two weeks of, of July. And replacing that are going to be one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations around your business. Um, so we're just in the, in the process of scheduling what that will look like. Uh, we will, we will, uh, that'll be a, uh, a first come first serve by production uh, availability. And so we will start with the ALC and then we will move to uh, cappers, half cappers, quarter cappers. And so that's how that, those slots will become available. Uh, it is the goal to get through about a hundred uh, of you in the, uh, in the first two to two and a half weeks. So by the first of August, um, there'll be 25 minute slots. So they will not be, um, uh, they will not be lengthy. However, they will be jam packed full of uh, numbers review, strategy discussions and uh, addressing any challenges you're currently having. There will be homework beforehand so that we can, we can spend the 25 minutes uh, focused really on what matters in your business. So watch for, in the next 48 hours, watch for an opportunity to sign up. There will be a, a Google Calendar that goes out uh, where, you can, uh, where you can grab a slot. Here's what I will say. If you grab a slot, unless you are hospitalized, please show up for your slot, right? Hospitalization is probably the only, uh, the only real excuse to have to change that uh, because you're, 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 you're grabbing a slot for 450 people and there's only going to be about, uh, about 40 or 50 of those slots a week for two weeks. So uh, really important that when you grab a slot, you lock it in and make that important and not, uh, and not miss it. <clears throat> so I'm excited uh, to bring that to you. 
I'm excited to dive in one-on-one -on -one with you to, uh, to push your businesses further faster for the rest of the year. Uh, and I hope you are excited about that as well. All righty, so uh, what I have for you today in, in the remaining four minutes, three and a half minutes that I have uh, is this. Uh, we are on the, uh, your leadership team on the, in the background are spending some time on uh, is looking at opportunities to reinvent ourselves in light of the fact that the world's very, the world's different. And so what that means is uh, we're going to be reaching out to you for, uh, for comments, suggestions, um, ideas, partnership discussions, uh, in terms of what we bring to you, who we are, what we offer, um, how, how our organizations run. Uh, we wanna understand from you exactly what you need to take the next step in your business development, exactly what you're looking for from the organization that you are affiliated with. What are you looking for from us? What are you looking for from each other? What are you looking for from yourself that you can find via education or uh, or implementation ac activities and strategies inside of the market center. We, we kind of want to ask on a, on a grand scale and get as much information from you as possible so that we can, we can spend time redesigning everything that we do or just improving what we already do, right, depending on what the feedback is from you. Uh, and here's why we're doing that. It's easy um, to, to lead an organization and believe that you are providing value and things of import and, and uh, awesome trainings and all those things that we believe we're doing. Except if we don't ask you and only do what we think you want or we think you need, well then we're missing a, a, an enormous piece of that, of that planning puzzle, right? And so we wanna make sure that as, as, as the world and our industry and everything just continues to change, that we stay as relevant for you as we believe we have been, and we don't wanna take our relevance for you and your business for granted. So know that that's all going on in the background and it's about to move from the background to the foreground via surveys, via conversations, via focus groups, via a whole lot of other things that we are, uh, we are currently working on to make sure that, uh, that together, hand in hand, part, well, gloved hand in hand, let's, let's, let's go with that route. Um, uh, we get to take the next steps in uh, in the evolution of your business and this market the market center's businesses um, together. So I'm excited about that. And I hope you are too. Do watch for more information on that. <clears throat> and with that, I am going to turn it over to the man in pink today. You know, real men wear pink. I just I just want to go on record. I dance the flamenco from time to time. <laughs> what do you have for us today, Adonis? Today, we're going to continue off of the last Marty session, which is building a custom smart plan for Facebook lead follow-up, part two. So, enjoy. Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66-Day Challenge 4.0, Day 6. So yesterday was part one of our smart plan video series. Today is part two, so we're going to finish out the custom smart plan that we created to follow up with the Facebook leads that we will soon be creating. So in order to do so, we're going to dive back into the smart plan applet number four here on the left hand side. We're going to go find that smart plan that we were previously working on. I called mine 66 day challenge 4.0 Facebook lead follow up. I can click on edit and that's going to take me into the smart plan where I can begin to add additional steps. So if you followed along with the first video, you know that we've created a 12 step seven touch over seven day smart plan so far. So literally every single day we are touching these clients as they come in with a mixture of phone calls, texts, and emails. And now we're gonna continue that smart plan on. So last we did, we had created an email and that's on day seven, step number 12 was an email. So let's go back to our plan here and step 13 is to add a one day delay. So we're gonna go in and add a one day delay and the next step was to make a call so 14 is make a call i'm going to add a few of these in and we'll go back and um, 
edit them. So we're also going to add them. One of the steps that we haven't done yet is add to smart plan. So we can actually click on add to smart plan. And now let's go down. And so we've got several steps that we just added in. So here was our email that we left off on. Now we're doing a one day delay. Then we're doing a, a call. And this is going to be again, that same call we did last time, Facebook follow up. And because I don't want to have to click on the contact, I can see their uh, phone and then it's last name and then first name and those come in. So I can see that pretty quickly and easily. And then we're going to add them to a smart plan. So here is where we're going to actually add them to the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. So we're going to click on that, add them into that smart plan. And that's what that's going to do is start emailing them again. So then they will be running on two smart plans, monthly neighborhood nurture. And we're going to continue this smart plan as well. So step 16 is a delay and then 17 is another text. So let's go back up to the top. So step 16 was a delay and step 17 is a text. So we'll go back down to the bottom. All right. And what you could do if you wanted to is you could go ahead and add each one of these steps and then customize them if that's better for you. So 16 is a two day delay. So we're going to put in two days and then 17 is a text message. And this text message is going to be Keller mortgage based. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, that we're going to start talking to them about Keller Mortgage. So we'll go ahead and copy that one in. This kind of sets the tone for the next text where we're actually going to send them our Keller Mortgage link. So let's take that contact first name, make sure that we're adding in the merge fields and taking out the space that's created after it. So we've got that. And all right, that one's good. Step 17 is a text, 18 is a three day delay, 19 is another text. So we'll go back up and put in a delay and then another text. We'll go back down and edit the, the delay to make sure that that is three days long. You can see we're starting to space this out a little bit more. Oops, three days. And then step 19 is a text with our Keller Mortgage link. So I'm gonna copy this, but I'm gonna show you where I got my Keller Mortgage link so that you guys can actually put yours in as well. So let me make sure that we get that done correctly. I want to take out this one, add the merge field real quick. And then you can see I've already put in my actual Keller Mortgage link, but I'm going to show you guys where you can get yours. So you're going to go to KellerMortgage.com. And when you get there, you'll see that there's an agent login side. So up here at the top, you can see the agent portal sign in. I'm going to click on agent portal sign in. And then I actually signed into that portal using my same username and password that I log in to command and connect with. Once I click on log in to the Keller Mortgage site, I'm going to come over here to the top right hand side and you'll see KM settings. So I'm going to click on KM settings and then you'll see here's my personal Keller Mortgage link. I can copy that and then paste it quickly and easily into the smart plan step. Sorry for that loud noise. That was my dog. All right. So that's what I've done here is said in case you're interested, here's the direct link to Keller Mortgage where we can get more information about our zero plus loan. And then this is my Keller Mortgage link. So that's step 19. You'll want to customize that link to you. Step 20 is a delay. 21 is a uh, text. 22 is a delay. So we're going to go delay, text, delay. So let's knock those three out. So we'll go delay text delay and then let's go down and configure them so step 20 was a delay of three days no sir 21 is a text message and we'll go ahead and put in that text message here now this one again i have personalized for bridgeland which was the neighborhood that they are looking at there's a few of these that if you're going to copy dire directly along with me You'll want to make sure that you are customizing for the neighborhood that your listing is in. And then in the future, if you go to use the smart plan again, just make sure that you make a copy and then edit that copy so that it's identifying the neighborhood that we're talking about. So I hope you're having a great day. Uh, contact name. So let's take that comma out. Uh, I have some time in the next couple of days to hop on FaceTime or Zoom and show you a few of those beautiful Bridgeland homes you may be interested in what works best for you. Uh, step 22 was another delay. Let's see, 22 was a three day delay. So I'm gonna add in three days. There we go. And then let's go back 
Uh, 23 is an email, 24 is a text, 25 is a delay. So we're going email, text, delay. So I'm going to come back up just because it's easier than scrolling back and forth each time. So email, text, delay. Now let's go back down to the bottom. And what was that email? Let's go back to our step for step 23. And this is going to talk about our app one more time. So the subject line is see anything you like. And then we're going to put in the merge field for their name to address them. Contact first name, delete the space, comma, give that a little space when register for our site. I set you up on some listing neighborhood alerts, right? So we've been sending them a couple of those. I wanted to check to see if you were receiving those. If you have anything you're interested in, I don't want to spam you. Let me know if you'd like to adjust the searches for you. If you'd like, you can search neighborhood in school. More on my app right here. So we're going to go ahead and embed, again, that's another merge field, the social app link. Oh, we can't actually do that from email. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of trick the system. Let me see if I can do that merge field from text. And then I believe that if I copy this, I can drop this into email. And if not, uh, it doesn't look like that's going to work. So if not, remember, we can just go back to uh, command and find that really quick. So again, the um, uh, app merge field is only available on text right now. So I can go back to consumer in my command site. I'm going to go to site and app settings. If you forgot where that is, again, it's under URLs. And I'm going to copy my app URL. And then we'll go back into that smart plan and drop that here. So right here, and then there's the link. We have tons more info that you will not find on Zillow. All right, great, that works. And then step 24 is a text message. So here's the text message. So we'll drop that in. And I need to go back to that email and put my signature in. So let me do that in just a second. And we'll put that merge field in. And again, guys, I know this is a lot of work, but remember, once we build this out once, it's gonna be really easy to continue to copy and use this plan for future ads. Uh, we can just customize it to the neighborhood that we're running uh, that ad on. And then, you know, basically we could have three or four versions of this going on. If we keep running ads on the same listing or same neighborhood, we're not going to have to make any adjustments. Um, otherwise, um, hi, and then let's say it's, it's Marty with KW. Can you see any neighborhood listening alerts? All right, so let's go back up to that email real quick. I realized I didn't put my signature on this email. So we want to pick our signature on each one of the emails that we send out just so they know that it's us. It's going to have that in the uh, from category, but just so that it's in there a little bit uh, uh, more official, if you will, I'll put that in the email body here. All right, 24 was send that text. That text is sent. 25 was a delay. 25 set a delay of seven days. All right, so now we're kind of really getting it spaced out. We're going to send them one more text and then we're going to come back and add them to the long-term nurture. So get back down to seven. Here we go. So 26 is going to be a text message and then 27 is add to smart plan. So let's do SMS and then add to smart plan. We go all the way back down to the bottom. We are almost finished with this. So 26 again, Here's that text message. That's pretty short and sweet. Just one more chance to kind of get back in front of them to see if they'll answer now that we are probably two and a half weeks out from their initial click. And sometimes again, guys, it can take as many as, you know, seven to 10 contact attempts in a variety of methods. And sometimes it's a long game. They may not be interested the first time or second time or third time. So here is uh, number 26, which is a text. And then finally, number 27, we're going to add them to the long-term nurture smart plan. So that one starts to send them emails about once a month to continue to follow up with them. They're still going to be getting the monthly neighborhood nurture emails, and then they'll be getting some specific emails there as well. So let's go back to the very, very top, and we're going to look at what we have now built. So we now have a 26-day, almost a, almost a month-long plan. It's got 14 different touches. So that's between calls, texts, emails. Uh, we've got 27 steps total. And so now I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Uh, please complete all required fields. What required field did I miss? This will be fun. So we're going to go back through these steps. And again, not anyone's perfect. I probably missed a subject line if I guess, had to guess. 
So that one's still good. Step 19. There it is. Yep, missed the subject line. Here's what I thought, right? So uh, 23 was an email. Did I get that email? See anything you'd like? Did it not uh, bring that email in? All right, well, it looks like for some reason, because I didn't have the subject line, it deleted the email. So no worries. Uh, 23, let's do this. We'll copy that one more time and drop that in there. See anything you like, question mark, and delete out that space. This is where we put in the merge field for their first name. Real quick, see guys, even when I'm recording, it's not always perfect. And again, if you have these happen to you, just don't get frustrated. Know that, hey, it happened to Marty as well, so no big deal. We just gotta go back through and see what we missed. So here's the social app link. I need to go back in and paste that one in. And that was here under my site settings. So I'm gonna copy that. Copy it. And then go back and paste it. All right, let's click on save from here. Make sure that that works. Should not have any issues now. Please reconfigure the smart plan in accordance. Smart plan cannot have more than 12 touches within 30 days. Wow, I didn't know that either. So we have got how many touches in 30 days? We've got more than 12, apparently. 14 touches. All right, so let's do this. I'm just going to imagine that you guys are going to know to make the calls. So I'm going to actually take out the calls. So I'm going to delete that call and remove it. That's step number four. And then we had a couple more calls. The first call I will leave in there, but I am pretty sure. Uh, yep, here's the other one. We'll delete this call here. And that should be fine. So now we should have the ability to save. Let's click on the check mark. And we're good. All right. So I'll take those two out before I post these into the YouTube notes, and that way you guys can see the steps of the smart plan all the way through. Now that we have built that smart plan, tomorrow morning we are going to run our ad, and then we're gonna start working on how do we find our leads, how do we troubleshoot any lead-based problems we might have, and then how do we add them to these smart plans and begin working the leads. So I appreciate you hanging in for these two rather long videos. They'll get a little shorter from here, and we will move forward, guys. As always, it's great talking to you, and I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Okay. So, what did you think? Did you love it? Did you learn something today? Herm is smiling. That's always good news. I like that. So tomorrow, we're going to be running a Facebook ad in KW Command. Have a good rest of your day today, and we'll see you next time.